We put something up already on the boat. That means, you know, we will. Uh, we have said that there is a bit of caution to be exercised in using uh, the operator D. Sometimes it follows laws of algebra, sometimes it does not. Particularly when we talk in terms of x d and x squared d. It's like this. For example, the Cauchy Euler equation is written down as x squared d 2 y dx2 plus a1 dy dx plus a2y. There is an x term here. a1 x dy dx. a1 x dy dx plus a2 y is equal to a function of x, capital X of small x. Now, using the d operator, we have written that x dy dx is represented by x d operating on y and x squared d2 y dx2 is written as x squared d squared or x squared d2 operating on y. So, let us see how this equation will modify. It can be just written down as x square d square plus a1 x d plus a2 operating on y is x of x. This is condensing the equation into a symbolic form. D operator condenses, the compacts a particular equation into a symbolic form, which is easier to deal with. Now, I will take one, a very simple example and demonstrate how algebraic identities may not apply to a combinations of x, d as factors. So, let us see that. We will take a very simple example. Let us take function <coughs> x squared. Let fx be x squared. And let us try to see the impact of something like x squared b squared minus 1 on x squared. Now, this means x square d2 applied on x square minus x square and that is is that is x square d2 on x square is two derivations carried out on x square the first derivation will be 2x and the second will be just 2 so that into 2 minus x square is equal to simply x square. This is the first one. Operating just by its meaning. x square d2 minus 1 operating on x square can be interpreted like this. Now let us try and see whether we can split this into two factors xd minus 1 and xd plus 1. Let us examine. So remember we will capture these results x square d square minus 1 operating on x square leads us to a value of x square. Keeping the same function let us see whether we can write x square d square minus 1 as x d plus 1 into x d minus 1, treating x d as an algebraic quantity. We will assume that this is possible, but let us see the effect, what happens when we do this. Now, we have seen that this operating on x square led us to x square, so we will operate 
x square with these factors and see what happens. x d plus 1 into x d minus 1 operating on x square. We will do it like this. We will first evaluate this part and then operate x d plus 1 on the result of this. This is equal to x d plus 1 operating on. Now, what is x? d of x square. d of x square is 2x. 2x into x is 2x square minus 1 into x square is x square. So, we have x d plus 1 to be operating on x square. This is nothing but x dx square. So, x into 2x plus 1 into x square, that is x square. The result is 3x square. So, we have seen that the combined operation gave us x square. Now, we find that xd plus 1, if we split it into two factors, we will get 3x square and then we capture this result. In other words, if I do this in this order and this is result 1, result 2 is xd plus 1 into xd minus 1 on x square is 3x square. Now, let us reverse the order of the factors. In other words, let us write x square d square minus 1 is x d minus 1 into x d plus 1. That means, we assume that this is a commutative law following. So, this is equal to x d minus 1 into x d plus 1 operating on x square. The meaning of this is first we will take x d plus 1 operating on x square and then operate x d minus 1 on x d plus 1 operating on x square. This is x d minus 1 what about this? x d of x square is 2x. So, that is 2x square plus x square. That means, we have to now operate x d minus 1 on 3x square. x into d of 3x square is uh, 6x into x is 6x squared minus 1 3x squared that is 3x squared. So, this part tallies apparently the commutative law xd minus 1 into xd plus 1 operating on x square is 3 x square again. But the combined and the split results they do not agree because the first result is just x square. So, this is the question I was talking about. We cannot use them. Uh, I mean in very simple language just like that. You cannot assume all this. It has to be checked out and then that is how we go. Okay, gotcha.